Hi you guys. I am back with another video. This one I am very excited about and I think that you guys are going to love seeing this transformation. I don't know for whatever reason my previous uh, backyard makeover video just went crazy started getting so many views and oh yeah I got so many subscribers like I'm almost at a point where I can actually make some money off of sharing my little creative juices with you guys as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers I'll be eligible to um opt in for monetization or whatever the thing is where you can get money for doing this kind of thing so that's exciting I'm so happy welcome all of my new people who recently um, subscribed to me and everybody who already has subscribed to me before I am like I'm psyched about this video so I moved if you hadn't known I did move again I can't seem to stay still um, but the backyard was I'm not even going to, I'm just going to get into the video. I try not to make this video too long, but yeah, get your popcorn, your snacks, whatever it is. Pay attention because I have some tips and tricks and everything else. So here we go. All right, so this is what it looked like. This is the backyard space that I am working with at my new house. I am renting. Um, now I sold my previous home, town home. Um, that's some leftover grass from before that you saw, but yeah, so I'm gonna jump right in um, As you can see all the green stuff. I tried to put down grass seeds, but it didn't really work out I'm impatient. I want it to look nice quickly um, As you can see I use PowerPoint for sketching out my little idea of what I wanted it to look like very simple very very simple the dark area is mulch the area over here is gonna be all the straw and everything so you'll see you'll see you'll see but I had to buy um, mulch I had to order my grass um, that grass is very expensive the artificial turf and I ordered five rolls this time um, and it came really quickly I got my mulch from Walmart. Um, what else did I buy? I had the string lights already from the previous video, if you remember. I got those from Walmart. Um, I ended up getting the red mulch because I thought once it starts fading out, it will match more with all the pine needles that you saw in the yard. So it would be like a more of a red-ish, brownish. The insecticide I got to put down because... Um, is moles in the yard and so my neighbor was saying put down the insecticide uh, so that it can kill all the insects because that's what the moles eat so when they don't have any food they'll go on about their business I'm hoping that will happen soon so this is just me putting all the insecticide down I know people are probably screaming real like landscapers are like why is she putting pouring that stuff out like that uh, because I don't know what I'm doing that's why yeah Um, so anyway, after I did that, as you can see those two chairs, we got those off the, um, the side of the road. Somebody was throwing those away. I'll show you um, when we found those. I went ahead and sprayed the seeds, the insecticide, because it says you have to wet it once you put it down. So I went ahead and wet the insecticide so it could do whatever it needs to do. And then I switched the setting on the water hose so that I could spray down these chairs because it had cobwebs all over it. Um, I bought some new cushions from Ollie's. I went to Walmart and Target and they were like, all of them pretty expensive anyway, but Ollie's was reasonable, Walmart was reasonable, and I ended up just getting them from um, Ollie's. But before I bought the cushions, I did go ahead and um, spray paint these because as you can see they look a little gray or ashy i don't know if it's because they're old or that's just the regular color but all the patio furniture in my backyard is black so i wanted these to be black so i got this spray paint and um i think i just went ahead and did like this one has a mailbox on it so i figure if it's good enough for a mailbox it's good enough for patio furniture because mailbox is outside and it says exterior or interior paint on it. 
so went ahead and gave it a coat of spray paint i didn't really care about getting paint on the grass because as you know i'm covering it um and i don't think i did two coats i might have done like went back and touched up some of the spots that looked a little iffy but for the most part it's just one coat of spray paint and then i let it sit overnight This is the cushions. Uh, so now my um, grass has arrived. They just dropped them right in front of the driveway. I was like, really? Uh, so we had to, me and my daughter had to carry each roll and they were heavy to the backyard and put them back there. So this is actually the morning of, and we're starting by raking up all these pine needles into piles so that I can cut the grass or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like run over the grass because it's not it's a bunch of weeds back here anyway. It's not even real grass, it's just weeds. So I just went ahead and um sorry about that edit. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, it was slow and fast. But anyways, I try to speed it up so this video wouldn't be too long. And um I did use some um weed barriers before I put the grass down to try and help keep the weeds from you know pushing up too much against the back of the grass. And here we are putting our first roll of grass out. We try to make sure that the grass, all the hairs are going the same direction. I tried to make sure it was not like one going one way and the other going the other direction. And so basically once we got all of them out, uh, as you can see I have some excess grass at the top so I had to piece together some of the areas and I knew I didn't purchase like enough for the entire yard anyway because it was just really expensive. All right, so this is where I'm putting up one of the uh, landscaping trims. I bought two of these. This is where I'm going to corral all the little pine needles that fall off of these pine trees in the yard so that I don't have to do too much work. The whole idea is to have low, 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 low maintenance on this backyard, but have it still look amazing. So basically, I'm going to put this landscaping trim down. Oh, this is where my girlfriend shows up to help. So we got just myself and my daughter my oldest daughter is off to army training and um so my youngest daughter and my girlfriend gave me a hand with this makeover i just put them to work because they're gonna um continue on doing stuff while I continue on doing this landscaping trim. So this was pretty easy to put down. I just wish it would have came with more stakes. It only came with five stakes for this 20 foot roll. Um, and I didn't really space it out very well. So I had to use some of the landscaping staples that I use for the grass just to hold up secure some of the spots where I did not have the actual staple I mean the stakes also this is where I put the second one on this side of the yard in front of these bushes these bushes are out of hand so here I am trimming up these bushes they're all different sizes apparently but I just gave them a nice little haircut to make them look a little more neat I started out with three big, huge bags of mulch. It wasn't enough um, 
I put it right over top of all those bush trimmings. I know everybody's screaming in their head. It's okay. It's all right. Um, I had to go back and get four more bags. Not the big, huge bags, but I got four more small bags because I got those big bags from Walmart, but I didn't. I went to Home Depot to get these smaller bags. And my daughter is over here doing TikTok moves. Put her back to work quickly. Yeah, um, I bought the more mulch and I bought these mats. Um, these stepping mats, the, the really heavy duty uh, rubber ones, or what is it? I don't know if it's rubber or what. Because as you can see, all this patches of grass, I had to figure out how to piece it together. And my neighbor gave me this idea of uh, putting this, the stepping stone, make it look like the moss is coming through it. Also, another thing I did was spray paint this light fixture outside of the back door because it was original to the home. Now it has a fresh coat of paint. You see what I did with the stepping stones? The grass is pieced together on that one, but it's going to be all right. I just put out a few little trinkets from the Dollar General, these little pathway lights and, you know, little garden things. Um, just to spruce it up, put little knickknacks here and there. Um, I'm sewing this tapestry that I already had on the sides so that I can stick these curtain rods through. Um, because I thought one of the areas in the yard was a little blank right beside where I put those little fence structures. By the way, I made those fence structures myself. I'm going to do a video and show how I did that. Uh, but these curtain rods actually ended up not being strong enough. Uh, my daughter and I, you know, we put them, we tried to stick it down into the ground, into the dirt. But it was a stormy, it was a windy night, and they just blew right down. I tried to tie it up and everything, and it just wasn't doing well. I didn't know what I was going to do, but my neighbor, who helped me along the way, she has, she's so crafty. She has all the different craft stuff you can ever imagine. She has some extra PVC pipes, and, um... She, she um, saw me in my struggle and she brought two of the PCP pipes and they fit perfectly into there. So here we are and we put it back up it, into the ground and those were much more sturdy than the curtain rods. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the finished product. As you can see, I put some little flowers on the fence thing that I built. The structure thing that I built. Um, so this is the before, if you can remember from the beginning of the video, dry spots, and this is the after. Yes. And I'm going to find some plants to put in these planters that I bought. But for now, this is where I wanted to put them. Um, it's kind of a hard transition to the bright green grass, but it's all good. It made the space much more lively, much more clean. You can sit on the ground. Um... You can just chill on a nice day. Here's the stepping stones. I thought that came out so nice. Thank you, Tony, for that idea. I love it. This is the grass. It feels amazing when you walk on it. It gets a little hot, as any artificial grass will, but it's definitely worth it. Um, so, yeah. And I'm going to show you um, also a nighttime view so you can see what it looks like with the lights out. Oh, and y'all see my trellises? Yes, I know they are trellises now, guys. I know, I know it's called a trellis. I um, tried to fix the vines on there. They got all beat up because during the move, I had to put some stuff in storage for a little while while I was showing my house. So those vines have been moved twice. They got all tangled. I tried to uh, detangle them. I'm back to this big bulky water hose because the little flexor hose broke. <laughs> It was only like $10, I guess that's what you get, so. But yeah, look, I love it. This is what you will see when you first walk out the back door. I just love all the green. Um, let me walk over here and show you what it looks like. I put these little gate things there. That's, that little stick, I think, is for like a lantern or something, you know, something decorative you can hang there. So that's my neighbor's yard, and then this is my yard, and I love it. So I'm so excited. It looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, let me show you the nighttime view. This is nighttime. Ah! The little so 
solar panel, solar lights down there. Um, don't worry about that grass patch where the grass is going different directions. Don't even worry about it. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. So there's a little seating area here with some throw pillows and everything. The lights look great. Up. That one I got from Walmart from the previous makeover. So, yes, guys. I hope you guys like it. Please comment. Please like this video. Share this video. Tell everybody to subscribe to me so I can start being motivated, more motivated to post more things. Um, the fence that I built in my garage, I bought some 1x4s, what is it? Yeah, 1x4 and two 2x4s. Two I primed them, spray painted them, and did it in my garage. I'll have a video about that. When I get it up, I'll link it below. Okay, guys. Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Hello!